Hello friends, it's Dylan Young, Developer Advocate at Sitecore. Today I'm joined by Sarah Riley, a Sitecore sales engineer. She will run through two different scenarios depending on the product that you're using. If you're using Sitecore CEP, she will walk through the use of batch segments with AudienceSync to send personalized emails in Sitecore Send. The other scenario will be the use of Sitecore Personalized Standalone, where she'll create a full stack triggered experience that will pass the user's information to a Sitecore Send mailing list with custom fields that she'll pass in to then initiate a personalized email for that user. This video really shows the capability differences of both Sitecore CDP and Sitecore Personalized Standalone and how you can use these products in different ways to facilitate creating highly customized and personalized messages to your customers. If you like today's topic, please subscribe and like today's video. And feel free to comment and let us know of any other specific use cases you would like us to cover. So with that being said, let's jump into Sarah's presentation. This video is about how to use Sitecore CDP and Personalize, mainly Sitecore Personalize, with Sitecore Send just to showcase how we can work with an email service provider. So it just kind of shows that full end-to-end -end integration and really makes it real for people who, you know, just talking about REST APIs is not really enough to explain the integration. They want to really see how the fields are being used, see how the integration can work as well. Uh, obviously, in those situations when we're talking about an email service provider working with Sitecore Personalize, we're talking about personalized email. So it's all about how we can personalize that experience. Okay, so to start off with when working with Sitecore Send, the way we always work with it with CDP and Personalize is by basically adding a subscriber to a list. Currently, that's the main endpoint I'm using for all these demos when I have this conversation. It's so the first thing I need to do when I'm setting up um, this integration for a new demo is I need to add a new mailing list. So if I go in here into Sitecore Send under Audience, I can see here mailing lists. And here I can just add new mailing list. Okay, so I'm gonna call this uh, Sarah Demo for my mailing list. So now I have my new mailing list and what I wanna do is I wanna add members to my mailing list. Okay, so the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna do this using a REST API. So this here is the REST API for adding members to a mailing list. Um, this here is the email list ID. And when I set up my email list, we'll see here that an ID here has been generated at the top. So I can take here that mailing list and add in this ID here. And then this here is my API key for my environment and you should find that in the settings. Okay, so now I'm gonna send in this post request now and get back this response. And now when I refresh my mailing list, I should see that a new member has been added to this mailing list here. Okay, perfect. Now, as I mentioned, when we're working with CDP and Personalize with Sitecore Send, we're talking about personalized emails. So you wanna include some information in this mailing list against this guest that's gonna help us personalize that email. So what I wanna to do to do that is I wanna add some custom fields, okay? And the kind of thing we could be adding in here could be, for example, um, the offer. Let's say we want to send the guest. So we'll set up an offer field. And then we want to set up, say, I don't know, a recommended product field. So we'll set this one up too. They're both going to be text fields. Okay, so now when I set create a new guest in my mailing list, I want them to have these fields. So here in this custom fields, part of the request that I'm sending in when I'm adding a new subscriber to the list, I can add in here my fields that I wanna add. Now, one thing to note here about this is um, when I wanna add in new custom fields, this is a um, list of strings, okay? It's not an object, it's not a list of objects, it's a list of strings. So here I wanna send it in like this. Offer is equal to say, um, I don't know, 50% off. And here my recommended product is going to be equal here to, um, I don't know, dress. Okay, and we're going to send this in here. Okay, and now we can see here our two fields have been set up. If I refresh my mailing list here, I'm going to go back and look at my members and have a look at me. And I'm going to see here that I have my two fields and they've been populated here, offer and recommended product. Okay, perfect. So that's how using the REST API, I can add someone to a um, mailing list. 
And now I'm going to show how I can do that, add someone to a mailing list using CDP and then personalize. And then I will show how we can take this mailing list into actually sending the actual email itself. So step one is setting up the email list. Now I'm going to show the integration with Sitecore CDP and personalize. And then the third thing I'm going to show is actually setting up the email campaign. So second thing, setting up this integration in CDP and personalize. So the first way I'm going to show you how to do this is using uh, Audience Sync. Okay, so Audience Sync um, on a regular basis basically exports a segment to a particular destination. This is part of Sitecore CGP. So if I click in here into this one, I can see here that it's exporting this segment every single day at the same time. And if I go in here and press edit, I can see where the destination is. So the first thing to note here is my service credential. My service credential for this is batch webhook. This means that for each and every person in my segment, I am sending out a webhook to a particular destination. This needs to be set as batch webhook, okay? If you haven't got this set up like this, you're not gonna be able to specify the URL where you want this to be sent to. So make sure you have this set up. Um, and this here is set up, by the way, inside your audience template. And in there, you'll have a service credential. The service credentials are set up in here underneath the external services. Okay, so under external services, you'll see where you can set up these service credentials. Here's where I set up my schedule, how often I want it to run for. This is where I select my segments that I want to export. And here's where I specify, first of all, my HTTP verb and then my endpoint. This is the same endpoint you saw me using in Postman. This here is my email list ID and at the end is my API key. And then here's the body of my message. So here I'm sending him the name the email and the custom fields in the same way I had in Postman. This here now is populating these values directly from what's in the CDP and it's using FreeMarker to do that. Okay, so here it's sending in the guest name, the guest email, the guest nationality and all that's being sent there. Okay. So every time this runs, what it's doing is each different person in that segment is basically being added using that API connection, using that webhook that we have set up in there. Um, to basically add the person to that list. So here we can see, for example, Zed Weber is part of this segment when it ran yesterday evening. And if I go in here, this is the mailing list that it's being sent to. And here I can see Zed Weber here. Okay. And if I click on Zed Weber, I can see here he's a nationality. That field's not populated for him, potentially because he doesn't have a nationality. Okay. The next way that we can do the integration from uh, CDP and Personalize is using a side of Personalize. So this here is using a full stack triggered experience. So this is part of Sitecore Personalize, and this is happening in real time. So the last way I showed you was batch, happening on a regular scheduled basis. This is real time. So this is triggered by an abandoned cart, and we have an audience set up here and decisioning. And every time an abandoned cart happens and these criteria for the audience is passing, a webhook is being sent with this body. Again, we can see here free markers being used to populate the name and the email. The custom fields I have here are hard coded, but you can imagine here this be populated from either my decision model that I have connected in here or any of the data that I have in the CDP as well. I can use my snippets to do that. If I go into headers, once again, I can see my connection is the same here with my mailing list and my API key. Okay, so now we know how to get um, individuals into a subscription list using a connection from CDP or from Personalize. Now, how do we use that mailing list? Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to create a campaign once we have our mailing list. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to set up a new regular campaign. I'm just going to set this up in here. I'm going to call this uh, test, test. Okay, next. Then what I want to do is I want to choose the list, my subscription list that I want to send this to. I'm going to choose the list that I set up earlier, my Sarah demo list. And now here I can start designing my email template. Okay, so I'm going to start designing. So I can either create this from scratch, it's very intuitive in Sitecore Send, or I can use here um, one of these templates. So I'm going to use here a template just to make it easy for myself, one for clothing. Set this up. Okay. So here I can see my clothing collection. Um, so the first thing I can do is I might want to start changing the text here to be personalized. That's the whole point of what we're doing, right? We're running personalization. So I can have here, for example, instead of new collection, I can have in here like hello. 
and then the person's name. So here, the way I can do that is I can use here these personalization tags. So we can see here, there's some of, that are out of the box, just like Corsen, for example, like recipient name. So I can have here like, hello, Sarah, if I come in. And I can also put in what I want here, my feed, my um, backup value to be, in case my fallback value, in case it doesn't come up here. So I can have in here customer instead, let's say hello customer. Um, down here, I might also want to use one of my um, custom fields that I'm sending in. So, for example, instead of this saying sports, I might want it to be the product that I'm sending in in the subscription list. The way that I can do that is, again, by using these personalization tags. Here, I can see my recommended product field that I'm sending in. I can use that here, and it's come up as a personalization tag. So those custom fields that I set up are also available to me here to start creating my um, personalized email based on that information that's been sent in against that particular customer. So here, I can choose that value here. And again, and here I can put in a fallback value because I can put this in a sport, for example, if I want. Um, what I can also do is I can also create um, some uh, conditional elements of the email. So for example, if I select this segment here and go into settings, I can have here conditional visibility. So what I can have, for example, is I can have this based on my other field that is a custom field that I've set up. In this case, it was an offer. And I can say, if this is equal to, say, 50% off, then I want to show this section of the email. And this section of the email, we could change to say something like, I don't know, uh, get 50% off casual. And this one could say, um, get 50% off looks. So we can have it so this entire section is only going to be included in the email if that particular um, field offer is equal to 50% off. Okay, so you can have it set up like this so that, that it's set um, to only show if that's what the value is equal to. And then what I can do here is I can have many more sections that are, say, based on different offers. And in that way, it's a custom email that's being sent out that's personalized based on the data that's coming from CDP and personalized. So we can see how we can use an individual field here to populate the email or how we can have an entire section only showing based on conditional visibility, based on those personalized fields that are coming from Sitecore Personalize. Um, so once I'm happy with this, I'm going to update uh, this campaign and then just save it. Now what I need to do that I have my campaign when I finish setting this up. So I'm just going to set this up, save it and exit. Um, Okay, so now I have my email campaign set up. Now what I want to do is I want to have this sending every single time a new person is added to my subscription list. Okay, so people are being added to my um, subscription list um, every single time, for example, there's an abandoned cart with my full stack triggered experience or nightly every single time um, my audience sync runs on a regular basis. So I want to have it so when someone's added to that subscription list, immediately I have an email being sent out. So the way I can do that is in the automation. So I'm going to go into automation here. and I'm just going to set up a new custom automation and start this off. Okay, so we're going to call this uh, Sarah's automation. Save that. And then we're going to select here my trigger. So my trigger here is going to be when someone subscribes to a particular email list. So I'm going to say when someone subscribes to a specific list and the list is going to be my Sarah demo list that I set up earlier. Then what I want to happen is I want an email to be sent. So I'm going to select here on actions and I'm going to say I want to send an email campaign and then I'm going to select here campaign editor. I'm going to use an existing campaign. I'm going to select the campaign that I set up earlier and save that. So now every single time um, someone basically subscribes to that particular list, um, what's going to happen is this email is going to be sent. So I just need to import that there and then I can save it. And then all I need to do is just turn this on and every single time someone is added to that list, we're going to send out this email. Well, that concludes today's presentation. Hope you enjoyed today's session and we'll see you again next time. Thank you. Goodbye.